Morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It is March 17th. Happy St. Patty's Day. I'm about to roll up these, um, when the wall decals, you know, I did the swatches. We went with the lighter color and all of the paint is over here on the floor. Just in case you're wondering, it is called White Mocha by Bear. And I did the eggshell finish in here. And then we got the rest of the stuff from the store that we needed. Um, one of these paint kits that comes with, you know, the rollers, the brush, and everything. I got him some extra trays because he may not finish all in one day. Um, we got a drop cloth, some more painter's tape, and I think that's all we got for the paints. But we did get, what is this for? Oh, this is his grill cleaner. I need to take that back downstairs. And then I got these for my gallery wall project in the basement. Um, and then some paint stirs. And my sister was so gracious enough to gift us with some diapers that Brooklyn didn't use, couldn't use. Um, these came from her dad's house. So these are newborn, I believe. Yeah, newborn. And then a whole box of um, size ones, which is cool. And then um, what else did she give us? Um, some formula. And she had already gave me a few cans, like three cans which are over there somewhere. So I'm about to roll this stuff up. I do have to sweep because he um, fixed like a crack on the wall there. So I have to, and he sanded it. So I have to sweep up all that. And then um, once I do this, we're going to move everything off the bed over to this side of the room. And then he's gonna dismantle the bed, put it in the other room. And he'll start on this wall and the side walls. And then we'll move everything from this side of the room to this side and he'll do this stuff this side so um we're gonna do two coats um and yeah that's what we're gonna do um i'm going to give lady a bath really quick as well and then we're gonna get started in here i may have time to film something for you guys i'm not sure what i'm going to film um probably my maternity haul but i don't know um but i'm not helping him paint um because of the paint fumes so i'm probably just going to help him um tape stuff off like tape the baseboards he'll have to probably do the ceiling and that's pretty much it so um i'm gonna get started on that and then yeah we actually found this at my parents house i don't know whose it was but ronnie wanted to take it it just has some bible stories in it for her they're really cute so we took that as well for her book collection um so yeah i'm gonna get started on this and then i'll check back in with you guys a little bit I bought the wrong color paint. Two gallons. So I'm gonna try my luck at returning with the gallon we didn't open and get the right color. But yeah, this was a $60 mistake. So we're gonna get the right paint and see what they say about returning that one, which I'm not really holding my breath about. But yeah, somebody's not too happy about this. Luckily, he didn't really paint the wall yet. He just started to cut it in when he noticed that it wasn't the right color. <sighs> Pregnancy brain. Hey guys, so they did take that one gallon of paint back and they gave me $30. So that'll pay for one of the new gallons. So a $60 mistake became a $30 mistake, which I'm grateful for, but I'm still not happy about losing $30 or my time, but it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. He said three or four minutes. He said three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, it's usually right here. We need some toilet paper, and of course, there's none. Tuesday, March 17th. Happy St. Patty's Day. I just whipped up some chicken alfredo because I really wanted some. I used the penne pasta this time and it tastes really good. Um, I have some garlic knots in the oven right now. Um, and then I whipped up a salad over here. 
I don't have any great tomatoes, but that's fine. Um, so that's going to be dinner tonight. I just really had a taste for Alfredo. The room is, the first coat is on half of the room. Tonight he's going to do the second coat on that first half. And then hopefully tomorrow he can knock out the second half. And um, we can move on to start purchasing the furniture and um, the lighting um, source. So that's just an update on what today has brought. And um, I spent most of the day trying to um, gain access to my online uh, remote system for work which I have been unsuccessful so hopefully later on tonight I'll be more successful but that is what's going on it is 6 23 here and we'll probably eat at 7. Hey y'all so happy Tuesday it's still Tuesday March 17th and your girl finally got access to her remote access at work so we're good for tomorrow. I called my parents to secure an extra monitor from their house because, you know, they're IT people. So my father set one aside for me because his job is sending him to New York tomorrow. OK, don't even get me started on that. But anyway, he leaves around 1030. So I'm going to go first thing in the morning or either tonight. Ronnie said we probably could go tonight to pick it up and then I can set up my workstation. I wanted to set it up in my bed, but I don't know where I'm going to be able to put that monitor at. So I may have to set it up downstairs and work downstairs um, tomorrow. But I'm going to go pick that up and then um, somebody is texting texting me through the job app. Um, and then we'll be in business. So tomorrow should be good. It only took me all day today. The Alfredo was really good. Both of us really liked it that I made and it was super quick. Um, and what else? He's doing the second coat on the first half of the room now. And then I guess tomorrow we'll move all the baby stuff to the other side of the room. And then he can start on the last side tomorrow. Hopefully be done with that. And then um, we can order the crib and go from there. So today was productive um, to a certain extent. Um, and yeah. So now I'm just checking my email, my work email and my personal email. And I just got off the phone with my dad because he had to go make sure he had the right cord for the monitor and stuff so we're going to be in business and it's just really hard for me to do the work that I do on one screen and the size of the screen for my computer is not a huge one anyway so that second screen is really going to help me out so and they have extra screens and stuff at the monitors at their house um because like I said they both work in IT so that's what the plan is so I'll probably go get it tonight y'all just got back from my parents' house. Look who's in business for work tomorrow. That would be me. Got all this good equipment from my parents' house. And, uh, yeah, I'm up and running. I'm ready. This was a Christmas picture me and lady took two years ago. But, anywho, just wanted to show y'all. Everything's up and running. Got my ghetto mouse pad here because I don't know where my mouse pads are. I think they're packed away. And I couldn't find one at my parents' house. And I'm, I was getting tired, so I had to leave. Um, but I'm ready for work tomorrow. Right here, got a little view out there. And I'm right by the kitchen where I, all the snacks at. So I'm happy. So I'm about to go shower now. And what time is it? 10.05? Yeah, go shower. And then we're going to have some strawberry shortcake. And then I'm going to call it a night. So I just wanted to show you guys that Button's office is up and running. Thanks to my parents. Hey, y'all. So it is, what's today? <clears throat> Wednesday, the 18th. This is the first day that I actually got to work from home and actually be in the system. And I was really, really productive. And I put on some makeup because I had to take my 20 week photo, which if you follow me on Instagram, you should. It's linked down in the description box. You've already seen it. But um, yeah, that's why I have makeup on. And then I decided to not waste my makeup and record the maternity haul for you guys that I've been promising you guys. So that'll be up. Um, in a few days probably before you see this vlog it'll already be up so if you haven't checked it out go ahead and check it out it's a ross maternity haul because that's where i get all my maternity clothes from for the low low and now i'm about to wash the stuff off my face take these lashes off and get in bed because i'm tired so i hope you guys are staying safe in this self quarantine slash social distancing situation that's going on we have been on the hunt for some toilet paper and we can't find any. So he ordered some from Amazon and we're going to get it on April 29th. And just for reference, today is March 18th. So what are we supposed to do until then? Use a shirt. <laughs> he said use a shirt. 
<laughs> we got some from our parents' house though um, last night. So hopefully we can find a store that has some as well. Update on the nursery. He has, he has, yesterday he did one, two walls, basically half the room. He did two coats. Today he did the other half of the room, but he only did one coat. So he still has one more coat to go. And then we have to get a really small, fine brush for him to um, touch up some areas. But he did a really, really good job. So I'm giving you your props. You did really good. <laughs> it looks really good in there. And um, once he finishes the other two walls, what are you doing? Tomorrow. Yeah, so he's going to finish it tomorrow. Once he finishes that, then I can get in there and move the stuff to the other side of the room and start playing around with the decals and where I want to put them. Um, and then hopefully we can order the crib this weekend and it'll come within a week. And so once, I, once we get that put together and set up, then I'll know exactly where to put all the rest of the decals because I don't really want them behind her crib. Um, I kind of want them... Yeah, not behind her crib or where I'm going to put her name at. So hopefully that's the plan for him to finish the paint tomorrow and then us order the crib this weekend. We'll see. And I looked at the crib again on Bye Bye Baby's um, website and it's not letting you use the 20% off coupon anymore on the crib, but you can use it on all the other coordinating furniture pieces. And just a few days ago, you could. So I don't know, maybe by the time we're ready to order, they will have fixed the glitch or something in the system. I looked at Amazon. They also sell it. Um, Overstock sells it too, but it's way too expensive on Overstock. Amazon sells it for um, a comparable price as well. So we'll see which one I go with. But anyway, I'm going to wash this stuff off my face and get ready for bed. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. It is March 19th. Just got off of work. It is 5.15. I got off around 5 today. Um, my workstation is actually working out over there. <laughs> um, but I am making another HelloFresh meal for dinner tonight. And I've already started prepping. I peeled all the carrots. Um, and then I washed and sliced all of the mushrooms. I sliced the scallions. Um, when they say this stuff is HelloFresh, they mean fresh. You do everything yourself. <laughs> um, so this is what I'm making. It is cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. And yeah. So I am on... Step two now, and I'm going to cook the carrots and the potatoes. So basically, I'm going to put the carrots, you know, on a, a baking sheet. And then for the pota potatoes, have to dice them into half-inch pieces. Um, I can peel first if I want. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do that. I probably will, knowing me. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to cook those. I'm on step two. I'll let you know um, what it looks like when I'm done. Got a cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. And here's mine. And these are not burnt, but I um, roasted them the way that it said. And I don't know if my oven is higher or what, but yeah. But it looks good. Let's taste it. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got finished eating dinner. It's like 7 o'clock on Thursday, March 19th. And... <laughs> I'm trying, I was telling Ronnie we need to go to the grocery store to get some stuff. So he had me make a list only to tell me that I had to stay home because he has forbade me from leaving the house. So I was mad because I've been in this house three days now. Like I am ready to get out of here. But he told me something, no, I'm going to go to the store. I'll FaceTime you from the store. I was like, if you don't get what's on this list, you might as well not come back here. I'm serious about my food. Like... So then he said, well, you can ride with me, but you got to sit in the car. I'm like, what sense does that make? <laughs> he said, well, if you want fresh air, you can, you can ride with me, but you can't go in. So I just stayed home. Oh, so blown. But anyway, just to give y'all an update, I worked today, all day, and then I made a HelloFresh meal. I showed you guys that in the previous clip. It was really, really good. We both really liked it. In fact, he wants me to keep ordering from them. Um, So I suspended last well, this upcoming week, because I wasn't, I wanted to make the three meals that I had got delivered and see if we really liked them first. So I'm going to turn it back on for, excuse me, the following week, and we'll choose three meals probably tonight when he gets back. Um, he went to go get just a few things like some salmon, some ground beef for our um, 
hamburger helper because I really want that hamburger helper. And then he also got some ground beef because he wants to make a queso dip with like Tostito chips and stuff. We really like that. We put um ground beef and shrimp in ours. It's really good. He's going to get salmon and just like some other stuff. I don't know, like junk food and stuff. We've been killing junk food here. Um, So, yeah. And he didn't do the second coat on that second half of the room today because he wasn't feeling 100%. So, um, hopefully tomorrow he can finish that and then tomorrow we're gonna order her crib i'm so excited i just did some price comparisons online to see which um retailer i was going to order it from and i'm actually thinking that amazon makes the most sense because their delivery is free it comes out to be about the same as bye bye baby it's like a six dollar difference i think um but i can get it as soon as sunday and i don't think i can get it that soon with Bye Bye Baby's delivery, which they're charging $60 for, but it still comes out to be about like $6 more, $6 less or something, but I wouldn't be able to get it by Sunday. So I think I'm gonna go with Amazon for the crib and then I will start price matching out or price um, comparing for the dresser as well. But I think we're gonna order her crib tomorrow and that will help me be able to place, be able to know where to place the wall decals and stuff because he's already finished the um wall that the details decals are going to go on and the room looks really really good like i'm really excited about it so he just needs to finish the two walls that he did the first coat on yesterday he, hopefully he'll finish that tomorrow and then i have to look in my car and see if i have a small paintbrush if not he'll have to go to the like the dollar store or the craft store and get a small one so he can get like those hard to reach areas he said but other than that it looks really really good i'm really excited about it and i'm excited for the room to come together and i've decided that the crib is the first piece of furniture that i want to purchase so that i can start playing around with the decals because that's going to be like the focal point of the room i've also done some online perusing for the light sources or the light source that i want to put in there in the ceiling and the dilemma is i don't have super tall ceilings here and ronnie is tall so um some of the light sources that i found on pottery barn kids they're actually a lot longer the length of them is longer than I want them to be for him to be able to comfortably walk around the room so I was just getting on the internet looking at different places that had um chandelier lighting and stuff like that and originally I wanted a gold one but I may have to go with a pink one just because even a lot of the gold ones I'm seeing are too tall basically um and that's with not putting a chain on it like even if I just you know put it really close to the ceiling they're still really tall. I mean, yeah, they're still really long and he's tall. So I've been looking into that as well, but I'm really excited. So um, your gifts have been rolling in. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to film the virtual baby shower. It's going to be so exciting. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Like I definitely have been getting the deliveries. They've been piling up in the living room downstairs. Ronnie brings them all in. And then... Um, we will check the P.O. box um, like every weekend leading up to, to when we record. So we'll probably go on Saturday Ooh, me. because the post office is right around the corner. You guys, I'm so tired. My back is hurting. Um, but yeah, that's the update on today. <laughs> I finally filmed uh, the maternity hall for you guys. I told you I, I filmed that and I edited it edited it so it's ready to go i'm gonna make it live tomorrow morning for you guys so yeah and by the time you see this it'll already be up but um yeah so yeah one more day of work and then still in the house <laughs> all right guys bye hey y'all i'm at my office right now in the kitchen don't i look crazy y'all look at my uh, work from home attire i look crazy let me take this bonnet off my hair still pinned up from last night though anywho i came on here because i want to tell you guys that we ordered the crib this morning i'm so excited it'll be here sunday morning between 6 and 9 a.m i was going to order it from bye bye baby but for some reason they don't let you use a coupon on the crib but you can use the coupons on all the coordinating pieces the furniture pieces they just put that restriction on like maybe a week ago because I had already been pricing it out and putting it in my cart with the coupons for like over a month and it was fine. So I don't know what's going on with that, but 
I ended up ordering it from Amazon because it was the same price. I think it was like maybe $2 more at the end of the day once tax and all that stuff was added on. But I was able to get it on Sunday morning versus Bye Bye Baby was going to take longer. So I just ordered it from Amazon. I'm really excited. And then um, my mom, my mom already loves the crib. It's actually the same crib that my niece Mia got, but it's in the pink color. She got it in like the silver gray pearl color and I got it in the blush pink pearl color. Um, but I'm going to get the matching dresser. Um, Mia didn't get the, the coordinating pieces. So my mom had already been familiar with how the crib looked, looked but I sent Ronnie's mom a um, screenshot of how the crib looks and she absolutely loves it I'm so excited I, I really really cannot wait and then my mom reminded me that I needed to fill out some more pages in my baby book and write down that we ordered the crib and painted the nursery this week so I did that I updated it with stickers I updated some of my doctor's appointments um, I updated when we started our first trimester when we got to 20 weeks halfway through when I felt her first movement which I have been feeling I haven't felt a kick but I've definitely been feeling movement and the doctor and um person who did my ultrasound definitely confirmed that that's movement baby movement or whatever so I did that and I had a bowl of Raisin Bran Crunch y'all I sent Ronnie to the store with a very specific list last night okay <laughs> $75 max okay this man then came in here with $600 worth of groceries I don't even have space to put that stuff away if, if I wasn't lazy, I would get up and show you my living room, okay, where all of you guys' uh, packages are stacking up because that's where we're probably going to film the um, virtual baby shower. In front of that, I had to make it overflow for all of our food because he brought like something like 60 individual waters, the Essentia brand. First of all, they were like a dollar and 50 cent each. He said that's the only water they had there craziness then he bought a huge pack of <laughs> the individual Gatorades he brought like seven things of juice um a whole gallon of milk when well, we already had milk he brought two um orange juices when we already had one that we hadn't even opened yet all of these snacks all of these chips like he really thinks the world is ending like seriously like 600 I saw that receipt and y'all know I went off I was like you're never going to the grocery store without me by by yourself ever again like ever and I was gonna go with him but he was just like oh, I don't want you in the store like germs and stuff like that and I was like yeah but if you're going in the store and then coming back here you're exposing me to the same germs but in his mind he can shower and disinfect himself and he won't be exposing me whatever so he was like well if you want to get some fresh air you can ride with me but you can't go in the store so I just decided to lay down because I had just cooked that hello fresh meal and my back was hurting anyway, so I just decided to stay home and lay down. But I made him a very specific list. I should have known when he didn't call me with any questions from my list that something was up, okay? But he wasn't even gone that long. So I, he must have just been throwing anything in the car. $600 worth of food, literally, for two people, okay? Two people. So I don't think we'll be going to the store for like a month <laughs> at all. I really need to get my nails done. They look horrible, okay? But it is what it is. I missed my wax appointment by now. So I ended up just going ahead and shaving. Like I just, ugh. I, I feel like a prisoner in my own home, y'all. I look a crazy hot mess. But I am getting a lot of work done. So this work from home situation is really good. I showed you guys my work setup. Um, my father hooked me up with some um, computer equipment so I could have the double screens, double monitors or whatever. And I have been knocking stuff out of the park. Um, so I started, I've been working um, starting at 830 and today it must be a lot of people off obviously a lot of government workers are off on fridays because um it let me into the system the first time usually it takes me like 45 minutes to log on um, remotely but this was pretty good so yesterday i had a training and then i had a meeting obviously virtually or whatever so that took up like half the day but today i don't really have anything so it's just like straight work um so yeah and then we have one more hello fresh meal I don't know if I'm gonna cook that today. I may make some queso dip with shrimp and ground beef because that's what we both have a taste for. Except for he forgot the rotel, so he's gonna bring some home. He just went to go get his taxes or drop off his paperwork to get his taxes done. Um, <clears throat> and then he's going to pick up the rotel and come back. So, yeah, that's all that's going on here. I uploaded a video for you guys. It is my maternity haul. I told you guys that it was coming. I finally recorded it and edited it so I uploaded it um this morning for you guys I've been responding to your comments and stuff a lot of you guys are hilarious talking about save that stuff for my second baby what are y'all talking about lies you tell anywho um 
the only thing about it is I didn't try on the stuff. Y'all, I'm at that stage now where I just don't feel like it. I barely want to wear clothes anyway. Um, so I didn't try it on for you guys, but you guys could tell from what I showed you what it was basically. Um, so anyway, yeah. And then what else? Thank you so much for all the love on my 20 week, um, picture post on Instagram. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Everybody loves that picture. Thank you so much. I spent an hour doing my makeup <laughs> just to go downstairs and make Ronnie take that picture. And then I ended up filming the maternity hall so I wouldn't waste my makeup basically. Cause then I just washed it all off. So anyway, thank you guys and i'm going to get back to work it's 9 24 on friday march the 20th so i just wanted to come on here and let you know that i ordered um baby girl's crib we're so excited hopefully he can finish the other half of the um room he only has to do one more coat of paint on the other half of the room but the side where the crib is going is already done it's already got the two coats it's ready to go um but i just wanted to yeah let you guys know that we are making progress so the next purchase will probably be the dresser so that I can get the collage um wall decor and stuff above the dresser situated and all that stuff done and then from there we'll probably have the electrician do the light um in the room I have to order her light do the light and then the last thing will be the um glider because I already have the ottoman over here but the glider and um you know the rug and the window treatments and then I can just you know decorate with the smaller pieces and stuff like that so furniture wise we decided that we're going to do the crib then the dresser then the um probably the light and then the glider so stay tuned I can't wait to film the nursery reveal for you guys but if you if you guys are following me and subscribe to the channel you'll see little updates here and there on the vlogs like i always do just updating you guys give you little sneak, sneak peeks and snippets and stuff like that so yeah when he finishes the paint i'll go back in there and show you guys what it looks like with the paint done so enjoy your day i hope you guys are staying safe during this self quarantine slash social distancing y'all i'm so over it it's rid ridiculous like i'm not a homebody at all i want to go to target so bad just to get out of the damn house like seriously but i am being obedient and i am in the house and i'm working so i will talk to you guys later bye hey y'all so it is two o'clock on friday and your girl is eating i just whipped up some queso dip it has ground beef and fresh shrimp in it which i peeled and cut up myself and then i'm eating it with some um sea salt Tostito chips or these are actually mission tortilla chips um but ronnie said he had a taste for it so i went ahead and made it it's supposed to be our dinner but i don't know this day is going by so slow but anywho he's downstairs watching a movie and i am upstairs working working um so yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys i made a big pot of it so hopefully it'll last us a little bit a, a few days but we'll see um and we had alfredo earlier for lunch um it's just a little bit more so I'll probably end up having to cook tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah. What are you guys doing? I just listened to Trump's um, press conference, which was a complete disaster. Anywho, um, now I'm about to go back to doing some work. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.